Hi, I'm Adam and welcome to Filmora. In this video, I'm going to be showing you three of Filmora's amazing new AI features and show you step by step how to get the most out of these tools. The first feature that we will take a look at is the AI object remover. This amazing tool is perfect for situations where you film something and there's an object or a person in the background that you didn't want in the shot. With this tool, we can show you how to remove that person or object and AI will fill in the background as if they were never there. Okay, once we are in Filmora, there are three different ways that we can access this tool. The first is on the main screen. We can see there's some shortcuts down here. And if you click the AI object remover, we will then be able to select the clip that you want to remove the object from. The second way, and if you don't see it down here, click the toolbox just on the left here. And this is a whole bunch of our AI shortcuts. The AI object remover is just up here. Now, once we are in the main window and we have a project going, you can also access the tool down here by first clicking the clip. And then we will see this is where all our shortcuts are. This is the tool here. Now, if you don't see this tool here, you can click the little icon just on the left here. And this brings up all the shortcuts that you would need. And you can just click and drag them up to your favorites window. So we'll get out of that. Now we will select the clip and press the AI object remover shortcut button. Now this brings us into the window where we can select what we want to remove. Now you can see this is a clip of me at the beach. I'm here talking and I didn't know that this guy was behind me here. So we will start off with the pencil tool and you just click and drag over the person that you would like to remove. And that's it. If you happen to accidentally select a bit that you didn't mean to, there is an eraser tool just up here and you can go ahead and erase that. And if you wanted to zoom in at any time to get a better look at what you're doing, we can zoom 200% here. And this hand tool, if you just use that to click and drag your way around, and we will see the guy that we've selected. We'll go back to our full screen. And now if we click this little button down here, remove, it will track that object throughout the entire clip. So right now the clip is processing. We can just see down here. And we're done. So we can just click up here. We can see the guy has been removed. We can click play to review the clip. And as you can see, the person has been removed and AI has filled in the ocean where they were. So this is a look at the AI object remover. And as you can see, this is a really useful tool and very easy to use. The second feature that we'll take a look at is the AI portrait cutout. This incredible feature can help you turn any space into an exciting location or make any video even more fun. Okay, now there are four different ways that we can access this tool. The first is on the very first window when you open Filmora. And if it's not down the bottom along here with these shortcuts, click toolbox. And down here we have AI portrait cutout. So you can click this and then select the clip that you want to cut. The second way that we can do this is in your main screen. You can click your project and then click tools, video and AI portrait cutout. The third way that we can do this is also in the main screen. If you click up on video, there will be some AI tools just up here and you can go straight to the AI portrait cutout by clicking this button. And then the fourth way we can access this tool is down in your shortcuts tab, just down here. So click the clip and it will show up here. It is this one, AI portrait cutout. Again, if you don't see that, just click this icon here and this is where all the shortcuts are. So for this one, we will use the shortcut down here, AI portrait cutout. Now, as you can see, this clip is me on a plain background. And if we go the AI portrait cutout, it will remove that background. And over here, we've got a few different effects that you can add on. So this is different blurs and lines around you. You can make adjustments to them. We can see the thickness of the line here, the distance of how far away it is from you, and also how many lines there are around you. So this can be fun to add on for little interesting effects. Now, what I think this feature is best for is removing the background completely and adding in something like we have a tropical beach over here. And now all of a sudden for this clip, I'm speaking at the beach. You don't need to have a video in the background like I am here. You can put an image and it can be any image. The advantage of this means you can shoot anywhere and come up with a really professional or exciting looking shot. This amazing new feature allows you to film basically anywhere. If you don't have a great space to shoot videos, essentially you could shoot this in your bedroom and replace the background with any image that you can find online thanks to this amazing AI tool. 
Then finally, we will take a look at the AI face mosaic. This tool is essential and something I personally use quite frequently. This tool allows you to blur a face and it will track them through the entire clip. This is perfect for if you've shot a scene with another person or there is someone in the background and you want it to protect their identity. All right, now we have three different ways that we can access this tool. The first one is on the very first page. You can see down here, we have the AI face mosaic button. If you don't see it there, you can click the toolbox just over here and it will be just up here, the AI face mosaic. You can click this and then select the clip that you want to use. And then the third way we can do this is once you're in your main window and you have a project open, we can go up here and click effects and then scroll down to body effects. And just down below, you will see face mosaic. Now here, there's a few different ones that you can choose from. For this, we're going to go with the classic mosaic and we'll just click and drag that over the clip. Now we can see it's chosen the faces here. So it's picked it up as three faces and then blurred them out. And you can choose which one you want to have blurred out. So for the sake of this, I will unblur myself and my friend Dan, I will leave him blurred. Now we've got some different options here. You can choose the strength, which is basically the size of the pixels just on a little slider bar. You can feather, which is the edges and the opacity of how much you can see it. Now what this tool does really well is it's already found the face. So it will track it through the entire clip. So if we play, you can see that even if he moves, the blur will follow like that. This is an amazing tool and something I use quite frequently. And thanks to the AI tracking, this is a really easy tool to use. This has been a look at the amazing new AI features in Wondershare Filmora 14. We will continuously update you with in-depth tutorials about Wondershare Filmora's new features in Filmora's Creator Hub. So there is a few different ways that we can get into the Creator Hub. The first is on the very first screen and you can see just to the left over here, we have a new tab, the Creator Hub. And if you click that, that will bring up all the different tutorials we have available. The second way is if you're already in the main window and you have a project open just up here in the top right corner, you can click this and we have get creative. So if you click that, it will bring you up the creator hub here. Now we have a few different categories along the top. You can click tutorial and this is where you'll find all the information about how to use this program. And if you go here at the top, you can scroll down to courses. We have all different categories here, scroll down to courses, and this is where you'll find all the information. So thank you for watching and thank you for using Wondershare Filmora 14.